Well, hello, this is me. And hello, people, this is my new puppy. Today is the 9th of February, and uh, I'm making this little video to welcome my newest doggy. The name is Kimik. I found her online because of a photo I will put in here now. Well, you will see the photo and start of the video I will play. And that the photo actually made me aware of that she's available. And uh, she looked so much like my other dog, who I missed so much after two years that I've decided to take a look at her. I went to take a look. I like the way she looks. I like the way she behaves. She looks, the face is exactly like the dog I had, but her body is a husky body. She's in fantastic shape for her age. She's 10 years old. And she is gentle and very, very loving. Very, very, uh, she's listening very well. She's housebroken, thank God, because this was, would be one of the problems I would could not face, really. So um, I, w I made a run of the first three days, little snippets of videos. I will put them together so you all get an idea how she looks like. I would like to take her right now, but she's clinging to myself like a... Well, she's hanging there like there's no tomorrow. You cannot really see if I have her. I hope I have her on picture. Yes, puppy, yes. Yeah, she is quite desperately clinging to me down there, so that be that. Um, she, uh, my other dog used to sleep in, at night in, in bed with me sometimes, but this dog is not because she, she comes in in the morning. We have a routine now in the morning. I call her up. She comes right beside me, cuddles up and she whimpers for joy. She really likes the special attention a few minutes and that's it. I go out. She needs to go out very badly, but boy, she loves the snow outside. She's an, a northern dog. She has two different furs. The top fur is a rough, scrubby one, and underneath she has this fluffy protection, almost like a down comforter filling, and that keeps her warm. Uh, she made herself uh, in minus 18 last night. She made outside. I wondered why she didn't want to come in, and she was outside. She made right beside the house a little bed, a little hole in the snow, and she was lying there sleeping just happy as, well, I don't want to say a bad word, but ha very happy, like pick in clover. <laughs> so, um, yes, a, a northern dog, I have to get used to this. I'm in the right climate for at least half a year, so I think she will enjoy the winters here. And uh, she's been outside for an hour, almost an hour and a half today in one piece and when she came in she wasn't suffering cold she just came in because she wanted attention a little a snack there and food uh, i'm happy she's not a goma she doesn't just sling it down she actually i gave her the food dish full and it has been full since and she only eats when she is ready to eat a bit that's fine i also gave her yesterday for the first time a bit of raw meat a smaller bowl of raw meat because I want to keep this up because she looks in perfect shape. I added a, an egg yolk to it because for her fur it will help her. I also decided once a week I will buy some kind of a cheaper salmon and feed her a big piece of salmon just for the oils so she gets the oil she needs for her fur. And besides, this is her natural food. She would normally in the in the Eskimo community, that's what she would get. She is a dog that came from Nunavut. That's the most northern territory of, of Canada. That's where the Eskimos live, well, the, the native uh, inhabitants of the Arctic live. And she, to me, because she's in so fantastic shape, I assume she was sort of a member of some kind of a dog sled team at one time. And because she's so gentle and so uh, human trained, she might have been even the lead dog for a uh, for um, a, a dog sled team, they, they need to be quite, quite manhandled. 
but she is fitting in so beautifully with me and I'm fitting in with her also. I have to say this is a, this has to be sort of a match made in heaven. Her being 10 years old, it will be, I want to make sure that this is her last, last home she ever spends time in. She looks like she really enjoys it here. I hope so. Uh, for the first two, three weeks, she will be on the leash, of course, outside also. But after that, I hope to be able to set her the odd times a bit free for exercise because she would need much more exercise. Also, next week, I want to make an appointment at the veterinarian to clear her uh, little passport of health, get all organized and get the missing shots. Maybe she probably needs some shots. She is fixed, so she will not be getting pregnant. That's good. That's it. I will show you now. We'll run the video first. I will show the, the photo. This is a photo I saw on the internet of this pound. When I saw that face, I knew that's the one I want. That's my puppy. So, and, and then I let the video run. Maybe I make some addition comments if needed. Bye. Good morning. Today is February the 6th. Now, I didn't expect to be sitting in a full-blown snowstorm blizzard. The problem is I would have to leave today to pick up my car, which is at repairs. I'm here with a sort of a courtesy car. I hope I can make it even out of here today. And if I do make it out of here, I have a dog that I maybe want to adopt. Well, I got the, the puppy. Yes, you go in the snow. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yes. That's fun, eh? Well, I made it. I got her here. It was extremely treacherous in the snow bad 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 snowstorm but we made it and she's home es ist das unveränderte bild strammer wind und jetzt drücken wir hier wirklich die daumen dass sie es noch mal so hinbekommen max noch einmal glaube ich in der form wie eben im liegenden anschlag aber das hier das ist ungleich schwieriger well she has been used to She's getting used so quickly to hear. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm very, very pleased with her. Today is the 7th of February. And I had a good feeling about, look at this road. This is no way I, he, he would be open my road till later this afternoon. And then I could not pick up the dog if I waited till tomorrow. So my feeling was right. I needed to get her yesterday. As a last chance, last ditch chance, I had the old road open for lunch and then picked her up. And she's already having a bit of fun out there. Her, between her and me, it works very well. When she wants to come in, and when she wants to go out, she just sits right in front of the door, stares at it, stares down. to rest up. The snow has been removed. Thank God. It's quite a wall of snow at places. And this afternoon, her and me, we're gonna shuffle my car for you, right? Hey, puppy. Yes. Nice bone, huh? Yes, you ate it almost totally. Wow. Mm. 
This is my girlie. She is just brilliant. Aren't you brilliant? Yes, you are. She well, good morning. It is the morning around 6, 7 o'clock on the 9th of February. Outside we have minus 18 degrees. Minus 18 Celsius, which is about something like zero degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And my doggy, if you see the leash, uh, she is lying right around the corner here at the entrance. She made a little hole and she's lying there and sleeping. And she <laughs> looks very happy. If I make a move, she wants to come in if she hears me. But this is amazing. She's my puppy. I just gave her a chew. And she's playing with it like crazy. She's outside now for 45 minutes in minus 18 temperatures. And she's happy as hell. And she was so excited when I asked her to come in. She barked for the first time. She made woof and stayed outside jumping and, and turning so she's really an old dog i want this will be hard for her in the summer well in the summer here it's i'm living on the river so it's always a bit cooler than inland well my doggy is outside now for a good hour and 15 minutes she's just finishing off the bone i gave her this raw height and she's eating it with delight. I asked her to come in and she made her first woof, but she didn't want to come in. She's at home out there. Minus 18, still minus 18. I'm, I'm a bit shocked of, with her being so easy. Well, that's it. That's my new doggy, Kimmick. Her name is Q-I-M-M-I-Q. In, uh, in the natural language of, of Inuit, that means dog. But it, it, they have their own name because a dog in the Inuit culture is not considered an animal, apparently. It is considered a, human, a tool for humans to be used. Meaning they were used for hunting, they were used for pulling sleds, they were used for protecting uh, very very heavily used in hunting polar bear they also were used for food if in case of need they were eaten so it's a very useful animal to them and i assume this little one she's 10 years old she maybe have outlived her usefulness for somebody and she will spend the rest of her life with me i'm happy if she's happy that's good thanks for listening thanks for watching Maybe you will hear more from Kimmy and me as we get along. Ciao.